I heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Scout Fantasy Show. ScoutFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Scout Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Hey there, everybody. It's Dr. Roto. Get out the insurance cards. Get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. This is the Thursday podcast, so you know what we do here on Thursdays. I take a very quick look at the injury report. I go over last night's waiver bidding results, and of course, I look at tonight's Thursday night matchup. So right now, some guys that you should know about for this week. It looks like Joe Mixon will be in and Giovanni Bernard out. Uh, Bernard is still not practicing, but Joe Mixon is practicing. That's a good sign. Uh, Devontae Parker is also practicing, so that's a very good sign. For the Packers, the Packers could be a little bit of a mess this weekend. Randall Cobb not practicing. Geronimo Allison not 100%. So we're going to have to watch that closely there to see what ends up happening there. Marcus Valdez, Scantling, he could end up in the starting lineup. So let's let's play pay attention to that. Uh, looks like Devonta Freeman is going to play. And I think he's a he could be a very sneaky start in DFS purposes. People have forgotten about him. You know all about the... Uh, the Atlanta passing attack, but what do you know about Devonta Freeman? He could be interesting. Uh, Chris Carson not practicing. If he doesn't practice, you may see more Mike Davis. So let's uh, pay attention to that. And of course, Will Fuller thinks he's going to play in week five. It looked like he might have been able to play in the second half of that game, but Bill O'Brien wanted to be safe rather than sorry. So that's why you saw so much of Kiki Kuti. Speaking of Kiki Kuti, let's get to some of the numbers. Let's get to some of the crazy, crazy, crazy prices that were paid for people. I'm going to start with my World Championship drafts here. And let's get to the first one. Kiki, Donta Foreman, $318. Good stash in cash, but that's a lot of money. Mike Davis, $215. Chester Rogers, $188. Dante Moncrief, $89. Corey Grant, interesting, 81. Famous Jameis Winston, 105. Willie Sneed, 68. Richard Higgins, 65. Those were uh, bids there in that league. Let's take a look at the next league here. Um, Let's see, let's go to this one here. Another World Championship League. One moment, please. Oh, sorry, had the wrong one. Ha ha! Thought I had this one. Oh, yeah, why is this one not showing? Kiki Kuti, $348. Mike Davis, $211. Michael Gallup, $66. Chester Rogers, $59. Martavis Bryant, $57. CJ Uzoma, $27. Thought that was interesting. So let's take a look. Uh, the next one here World Championship Draft. How much do they go for? Kiki Kuti, $401. Greg Olson, $289. You know what the next bid on, bid on that was? Zero. Yeesh. Jameis Winston, 187. Mike Davis, 173. Muhammad Sanu, 127. Tyler Croft, 127. Willie Sneed, 98. Dante Moncrief, 56. I like getting Sneed and Moncrief. I think those are very interesting picks there from people. Uh, I'll give you two more World Championship drafts. Um, Kiki Kuti, $509. The next bid was 503. Mike Davis, 389. Donta Foreman, 117. Marcus Valdez Scantling was 89. That's a good buy right there. Donta Moncrief, 69. Cameron Brake, good buy at 53. Uh, I like those bids there. I think I should have one more for you from uh, a World Championship draft here. And let's see. Kiki Kuti, 409. Mike Davis, 268. So, what does this tell you? It tells you that people are in on Kiki Kuti. And the question was remember, I said it yet to you yesterday. How much should people pay? How much should people pay on these guys? And Kiki Kuti was a three to $400 player. Did you, now you may, may end up wasting that money, but you have to take a stand somewhere. He was a player to do that. I think Mike Davis is too expensive unless something happens to Chris Carson. I think 268 is too much. Marcus Valdez Scanling, 177. You're paying for a week or two. Chester Rogers, $112. You're paying for a week or two. I never want to pay for a week or two. I want to pay $180 for a guy that can give me a few weeks. So let me look at some online championship drafts. I'll go to uh, maybe go to three of these. 
Let's see, I'll do one here. Mike Davis, 288. Corey Grant, 133. Cortland Sutton, really good there, 123. I like that pick a lot. I, I don't know why I didn't pay attention to that. I should have been on that. You know, sometimes when I see this, I look at it and go, I made a mistake. You know, I don't know my team. Let's see. Let me go to my ad drop list. Oh, man, I, mm, I would have dropped somebody. I would have dropped somebody for that but because uh, I would have wanted Cortland Sutton on that team. I could see why I didn't do it now, but retrospectively, I'd want a piece of Cortland Sutton. Uh, let's do another league here. Kiki Kuti, 333. Next bid was 308. Mike Davis, 122. Cameron Brait, 103. Hayden Hurst, 75. Marcus Mariota, 32. Michael Gallup, 26. I think people saw a little bit from Michael Gallup. I'm like, you know what? He looks pretty interesting to me. All right, the Beat Dr. Roto draft from Las Vegas. Kiki Kuti, 341. Uh, 307 was the second bid. I got DJ Moore at 178. Look, Cortland Sutton, DJ Moore, all these guys, people are getting frustrated. But you can't drop DJ Moore. I mean, there's no doubt that he could be the best receiver uh, on the Panthers by the end of the season. Mike Davis was 175. Cameron Brait was 88. Rashard Higgins, 86. Chester Rogers, 67. Mitchell Trubisky, 57. Uzoma, 41. Um, it's about right. I'll give you one more, team, one more here. Uh, please hold. Please continue to hold. Thank you for holding. All right, then I'm going to do the Invitational, which is always a good, uh, good one as well. Mike Davis, $425. The next bid was $342. Mohamed Sanu, $188. Next bid was $135. Cameron Brait was $137. Frank Gore is 115. Zach Pascal was 91. Mitchell Trubisky, 78. I like that Marquez Valdez Scantley was 67. Um, Rozek picked up Greg Zerline. That was a smart pick in advance, thinking, hey, let me get Greg Zerline now because somebody dropped him. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a move that such people could be thinking about. Now, the question is can you roster two kickers? Sure. Is it the smartest idea? No, but you certainly can do it. All right, let's take a look at tonight's matchup. Uh, the Colts versus the Patriots. For the Colts, a lot of guys are out. Marlon Mack is out. T.Y. Hilton is out. Jack Doyle is out. I don't like Andrew Luck as much tonight as I did last week. I played him heavily last week. I would not play him heavily this week. I think he goes for like 240, 260 yards and maybe one or two touchdowns. A good game, but a not a great game. You've got Ryan Grant and Chester Rogers and Zach Pascal. So I think Bill Belichick is going to cover... Eric Ebron. He's going to take away Ebron because that's Andrew Luck's best target. All these other guys, you don't need to do anything special with Grant, Rogers, and Pascal. So Ebron is going to be like 5 for 50, 6 for 60, but nothing special. Jordan Wilkins, I believe, is just a guy. I'm really interested to see Niam Hines tonight. I believe that he's going to be the slot receiver with T.Y. Hilton out. This could be a big game for him. This, this is a game that I want to watch this guy closely because if he could get, you know, six carries for 25 yards and get six catches for 60 yards, maybe a touchdown, he can make a little bit of a difference there. So he's a player that I'm watching closely. Uh, for New England, uh, Rob Gronkowski is wait and see. He's at, right? We don't know. He's questionable. Josh Gordon is questionable. If I'm Belichick, I'm not rushing to play these guys tonight because I know between Sony Michelle, James White, Edelman, Hogan, Dorsett, I can win this game without these guys. So I'm only playing Gordon and Gronk if they're 100% healthy. I wouldn't mind not playing them tonight, especially if I thought I could give them extra rest for, for next game. That's what I would do, but then again, I'm not Bill Belichick. But I really like Julian Edelman tonight. I don't think there's a question. You start Edelman, you start Sony Michelle, you start James White. Fact. I would not start Philip Dorsett. Chris Hogan, I think, is interesting. I think Julian Edelman makes Hogan interesting because Edelman is going to get, when, when Brady's in a jam, he goes to Edelman, which means that they've got to cover Edelman, which means that maybe some guy's not paying attention to Hogan. There's a play-action pass. They look to Edelman, but they decide to go deep. There's Hogan, touchdown. That's how it works. I like Brady tonight, but I don't love him. I think this is going to be a little bit of a messy game. Uh, I don't see a huge high-scoring game. Maybe, I don't know, 31-13, something disgusting like that. Maybe they get three, you know, two, a passing touchdown, a couple of rushing touchdowns, a couple of field goals. I mean, they're a better team and they'll win. But I, don't, I just don't think this is a great Thursday night game. I just really don't. So sorry about that, guys. But what I can tell you is this. 
Come Friday, we're going to have me and Willie Walls are going to do our DFS plays for you. Adam Ronis and I are going to be on Fantasy Sports Radio Network from 7 to 8 p.m. And of course, don't forget, Scout DFS right now. Scout DFS. You want to win in hockey? There's hockey going on. Rob Garriak and Steve Renner will help you in hockey right now at ScoutDFS.com. It is sensational. The optimizer is on point, right? And VIP25, VIP25 will save you some money when you sign up, okay? Promise you if you do that. Also, I want you to go to Scout Fantasy Sports. That's ScoutFantasySports.com. Enter the promo code ROTO1. We'll give you a free month. ROTO1 gets you one free month of ScoutFantasySports.com. Ronis, Sean Childs, and myself, we answer questions all day long to try to help you win your fantasy football leagues. But right now it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. Enjoy Thursday night's game. I hope your players play well. We'll be back to discuss the game tomorrow and, of course, the plays of the week. This is Dr. Roto saying be well and take care. Thanks for listening to the Scout Fantasy Show. There's never been a better time to join the Scout Army. Visit ScoutFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO for two months free. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time. Go Scouts!